Good morning, good morning, and good morning to each and every one of you. Yeah, we jumped the gun a little bit this morning. When I came over here, I saw a beautiful, like pre-dawn kind of colors and stuff that I want to share with you. So that's why we started out a little bit early this morning. As you can see, we have a glorious sunrise coming our way in a few minutes time. Um, but just to take up the time between here and there, I just thought I would show you where we are this morning. For those of you that are not familiar with the location, uh, we're down in Glen Burnie and we're in St. John, the parish of St. John. Just beautiful out here. You will notice the old railway tracks in the water here that are leading directly below us. Imagine that is where the railway used to run, the track used to run before. So you will see how much land has actually gone from here over the years. This is all, I believe, just a process. Um, it goes and then as the island rises, it happens again. We get these plateaus. Uh, this is what I'm assuming right now because it's... I don't know how it could have gone that fast and then we're looking at it also directly behind us as well a similar scenario with all these slippage um, this whole area has all slipped down I remember when this is just one cliff that you still be on one elevation up at the highest mound that you're seeing there and as you can see it's slipping down and the more water that um, bikes in this area the more it slips out as you can see from by this coconut tree itself I'll show you that in a couple of minutes time but it's all just slipping away here but I can take you back to the sunrise and before um, we go back to silent sunrise. I'd like to say our serenity prayer. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen. Good morning to all of you all. All right, I'm going to give you a couple more minutes of silence as that sun starts to come up. Just want to get in there and say good morning to you all. As I saw a lot of comments coming up, a lot of people saying hi to me. And I just want to get back to you as I don't, I'm not running the other phone um, off of this signal because I really don't want to interfere with it. Hopefully we'll get our 720 today. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. All right, here we go again. I'm going to put you back down, find you a nice spot to enjoy this sunrise from. And I'll be back with you in a couple of minutes time where I do some still shots for my collection. Here we go.
But I don't know how many of you thought last night when you went to bed that you're going to watch that kind of sunrise here in Barbados. That was just spectacular. Beautiful. So I've been hopping and skipping and jumping all around these muddy sections out here. Uh, there is a lot of water that is not seen. So I now have one shoe that's a mud shoe and one shoe that's in perfect condition. It's <laughs> so <laughs> I went down to about pretty close to shin deep in one section there just now. But as you all would know, I have lots of Olympic training and the Olympic training in the category of shoe retrieval definitely came in handy this morning. I was able to recover it and put it back on. Uh, thank goodness for these type of beautiful shoes that I have on. These are my old ones. If I'd had on the new ones that my angel had sent for me, well, I'd be crying like a little baby right now. But uh, I'm pretty good. I'm going to put these on the holes later on today. And I know that tomorrow is the off day, so they'll have a chance to dry out. Uh, whatever I see tomorrow that I'm going to bring to you, which I will always do, bring something. If it's just a picture or something, um, it will be somewhere on a beach. So that won't be an issue. We won't be needing these for a couple of days time. Just beautiful over here. But as I had mentioned, the slippage out here is crazy. I mean, just have a look at how much slippage is going on here in this section. This tree is not going to be around too much longer. As you can see, the outer section here is just gone. Um, and all of the hills here, between here and the highest elevation, you can see slippage, cracks. Um, you know, you can see, you can see where it's damming up um, with the water and then it's just sliding out. Uh, it's just a shame out here. But this is a part of nature, so I shall really say it's a shame. It's just, a, a, what, it's just nature itself something beyond our control and I'm sure that this is uh, something that has occurred over the years as the island has risen and it's not something new it's just something new to our lifetime because this would be over hundreds and hundreds of years all right we're gonna make our way in the direction of Martins Bay we can't go to Martins Bay because there is a blackout point I uh, lose all signal I've done many checks here over the past so I'm gonna take you as far as we can get this morning we've come in the other direction a couple of times so I thought maybe we would switch up this morning and walk into the sun not only that walking into the sun means that you're not going to see you know who which is wonderful for me because his fame and glory is getting better than mine so i'm going to keep him in the dark for a little while um, but i will let you speak to him this morning because i know there's some of you that can't get through the morning without saying good morning to him beautiful beautiful sunrise absolutely gorgeous here again you can see how the slippage is happening with the water that's running down the section uh, all up here. This was all on one level originally. I remember when I was a little young fella All of these coconut groves and stuff you're seeing out here. were on one level. Just beautiful beautiful It's a little tricky and dicey out here very slippery So if you're coming in this section, please wear the correct um, gear and make sure that you have on the correct shoes for sure You don't want to be going down out here. It is very very slippery and loose. Right, we're going to make our way up onto higher elevation to get onto the actual hiker's trap and then we roll from there. So we're just down below the Glen Burnie section. A lot of homes in this area. This house there obviously is under uh, you know, disrepair here at the moment. I don't know if it's being lived in. But there are some pretty nice homes um, up on the higher elevation. You start to work your way down into this area from up on the top level, up by St. Margaret's pretty nice homes are developed in that area so you can see the type of terrain type of slippage that's going on pretty common on the side of the island beautiful morning here it was a little bit on the nippy side coming over not not as cold as it was or as chilly as it was two days ago but it still definitely is a little bit nippy this morning had all the windows open, shirt off as usual, jamming off some Barb Marley as always. All right, so we're going to go into some bush areas here. I don't think the signal was affected last time we did here, but we're still going to you know, be cautious as we go through. I remember we did talk about this section here in this dip where we lost some signal, but I don't think we lost the full signal. So if we lose a little bit of quality, you understand I'm trying to get the other side as quick as possible, but don't want to take any more falls today. Already had one. <laughs> I, I, think, I think that my Olympic training was so good you all may not realize it but it was during a filming you may have heard it now this is an area here that is dicey real real dicey so as you can see it's very very narrow um, all of the section here is peeled off 
So if you're coming in this area, please lean to 45 degrees inward inland. Walk through cautiously and get ready to grab on to some sea grape trees if you have to. Believe it or not, yes, we're talking about sea grape trees helping us uh, from falling. But you can see the whole path here is pretty much gone. We're going to have to cut a new path here coming out into summer. I guess the guys will be out with their machetes and stuff and taking back these sea grapes a little bit. So that this hiking track can continue. But all along here, very, very tight conditions. This is a lot worse than it was last time it was here. But I would say they may have lost maybe six or eight inches, but six or eight inches on this kind of uh, beam area here is a lot. You know, it's a little bit dicey and a little bit close. Um, I met Zari when I was hiking a couple of days ago, Zari Evelyn. He was coming from Cattle Wash, coming up. He had told me about this. He said, well, yeah, we'd seen it um, the last time we were down here, but it most definitely has got a lot narrower than it was when we came through like eight weeks ago eight or ten weeks ago when we last did this area i was just showing the actual path itself as we were walking i'm gonna get you back on the scenery a little bit now just to show you um how close it is and if you are a little concerned about balance or have any kind of physical challenges where walking is concerned i really wouldn't recommend it we look back in the direction here where we just came from you can see how close it is there really really close so you have to be wary, okay, when you're coming out in this section. You can see all of these rocks here. These rocks here are coming out of the hillside here as it breaks away and it starts to erode and stuff. Uh, all the mud and, and uh, clay or whatever is in this area, the makeup of the actual uh, soil itself out here, um, that is getting washed away and then leaving the rocks. You can see all the rocks on the beach here, the small ones, of course. The big ones would have been areas that all the weaker matter had been eaten out in previous times. So, okay, so if you look back here now, you can see the railway tracks barely. Um, the, the little rock there that's in the dead center of the screen now, you can see just in the inside that, you can see the little points are sticking up when it swells, pull back a little bit. You see them sticking up there now. So that is where the railway track used to run. So a lot, a lot of uh, land has gone from here. I know there are some people that are very, very keen on the railway and trying to find pictures of it. Mark, my friend, has been sending me quite a few photos in the past. Any that he has been coming across, he has been relaying on to me so i can share uh it must have been beautiful out here in those days for sure rough time to live because i can imagine in those days it was a little bit tough on the island here um but you know it, it must have been beautiful all right we're gonna be following the track itself which carries us around a little bit around trees and stuff a little bit or bush a little bit away from the actual coastline itself but we're gonna be taking a better route in this morning we could walk on that rock beach, but as you can appreciate, that would be really, really difficult to do. You know, you probably end yeah, up quite a few falls as well. Not that I have a problem in falling, because I have a quick rebound. But unless it's necessary, I don't. I really don't want to go down. So <laughs> you can see the numerous little tracks that come in the inside section here as well. So you could have got well. We could have got a little bit closer, but really don't want to walk through all the bush and stuff there. You get quite a bit chewed up. I have on, of course, baggies. I'm bareback, so I have to be wary of where I am walking as well. Just a beautiful morning. So you can see all of the slippage and stuff here. It's, you know, it's quite obvious. I guess when I have heavy rains down here, it becomes pretty dicey, um, especially uh, if you're walking on the ledgy areas. So again, exercise caution, please, if you're coming out in this section. Um, check the weather. If you've had rain over the last two or three days, make sure, oh, somebody wants to see my shoes. Right, let me see if I can give you a quick something of my shoes here, show you the difference between the two of them. That one on the left is the one that went down to the shin. You can see I've taken some war injuries in the past as well. Lots of bushes, but don't worry about that. I'm a he-man. I'll rebound quickly. It's not a problem, but you can see the right foot is the one that is... I always am more cautious with it. The left foot, I always pelt into all kind of dangers. And that's because I have a little bit of an um, uh, injury or a pass injury on my right leg. So I'm a lot more cautious with that. I always refer to my feet and my shoes as my life. My right foot is the one that I have been a little more cautious with. That is my new life. My left foot is the one I used to throw into anything. It didn't make a difference what I put my life into or what I did with my life before. I really didn't think about tomorrow. I didn't think about God. I didn't think about anything.